Hey guys, Targo Cyclone FPV. One second, sorry. What, that, what's that, babe? Did I get it done for Al? Yeah, yeah, he, I, I'll go do the, I'm gonna do the install right now. Um, all right, guys, hey, listen, I'm gonna do a quick video here for some of you JGMCU fans that have been asking about some firmware updates, okay? So what I've done is I've pulled, oh, I don't know, a bunch of, a bunch of boards here, um, and I'm gonna try to knock them out. I'm just gonna go through them all, and if we have issues with some of them, I'm gonna come back and visit it. But I'm gonna start with this dual gyro, the F7 here. Uh, it's the one that I actually had open. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share the screen. Uh, let me let me get this all set up, okay? <laughs> I don't know if it's better. You probably don't need to see my ugly face here. So let's do this and so let's get me off of this. And we'll do it like this. Okay, so you've got beta flight on one side and you've got the board here. Now, like I said, I've already used this board, but I'm gonna show you guys for some of you how to do this. This way we can, uh, for those of you that did ask, and this was one board I got asked about, I'm gonna just do this real quickly. So first of all, we're gonna plug it in. We don't need to add any batteries to it, um, right? So we're gonna wait for our, um, our COM port here to recognize, and it did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to connect. Uh, and uh, actually, I'm gonna do this first though. If you guys need to see what driver you need for this, uh, let's go look at the driver real quickly. So we're gonna go to device manager. And the driver that you need for this board is going to be the STM electronics, and the virtual COM port, okay? So make sure you get this one. And if you go to beta flight here, you can see where you have the STM option right here. So just follow this link and you can get that if you need, okay? So now let's get back to what we're doing. We're gonna connect and we're gonna go down to CLI and we're gonna just type version, all right? And I need to get a pen because I'm gonna actually write these down and put them on the site also. So let me grab a pen real quick. All right. So the version that it says it's using is, uh, as you can see right there, sorry, I'm, there's my pad of paper. All right. Uh, you can see it's the JHEF7 uh, Dual. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go and run at JHEF7 Dual. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Update Firmware. And we're going to find the JHEF. So let's go to J -G -H -I -J -H. There it is. And we're going to load the new version right there. Load Firmware. Okay, and then we're gonna flash it. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. As a matter of fact, here's my new, uh, so let me just, let me make notes here. So, J-H-E-M-C-U, dual, F7 is J-H-E-F7, dual, dot hex. Okay, so that works. So we're gonna flash that real quick, log in it, and then from there, I'm gonna go to the next board. All right, and I did have some boards that I, I had a little bit of a glitch with, a little bit of a problem with, and I think we're going to touch on those real quickly, uh, and then that should hopefully uh, answer that as well. So let's try that one, and I'll just stick these yellow pieces of paper here. And what's going to be next? Well, give me a second, and we'll see. Okay, so sorry, uh, so that's done. So let's go ahead and click on connect. Oops, hold on. Let me disconnect real quickly. On some of these, the delay is rather long to reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. I hope my cable isn't going bad, it might be. Let me connect this back. There we go. And we're gonna click connect. And you're gonna get your custom defaults here. Go ahead and click apply. And it's gonna reboot again. Now have patience here. I'm gonna see if it's gonna restart, it should. There it goes, it's rebooting right now. And we connect, and you will see this here. It does, you do need to now calibrate your accelerometer. So please, if you look at this, there's no power. Okay, there's no motor protocol selected, um, which you can do that one. So here it goes, uh, let's see, accelerometer, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate the, I'll always reset, then calibrate, okay? And then you go to your configuration. This is what it's talking about, everything's disabled here. Let's say you're running DSHOT 300 or 600, whatever it may be, depending. If you're using 8K, 8K, then we'll go ahead and put that at 600 uh, just for now. Okay, and let's click Save and Reboot. Let's click Connect. And your errors are gone and everything's good. And if you go back to version now, okay, you are all set. All right, and you can see everything here is set and you can see the new firmware date. All right, so that takes care of this board here. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it, stick this piece of paper with it. And that one will be updated on our website shortly. All right. Now, let's go to the next one here. I've got plenty of them to look at. Uh, I am gonna go through one that we just did on a build though. Uh, so let me see, it is the, uh, the Pro 35 amp. This is the all-in-one with everything, ESC and everything. So 
I believe this is one of the ones that we had an issue with. So let me go ahead and just grab this and take this out. Now this, if I remember correctly, and I'm gonna put this here. So this is the GHF411AIO Pro, okay? And this is the 35 amp. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this plugged in. Try to see if I can get it to sit properly. There we go, just like that. All right, and again now I'm gonna connect and I'm gonna get my warnings here. Okay, it's not, it's not calibrated, so let's go ahead and calibrate the accelerometer. Okay, but here's the kicker. Um, let me make sure I get this because on the ones I received earlier, uh, I did not get, uh, here, watch. You see how I have an error here? Version no config found, board manufacturer ID JHE, board name JHE F411. All right, so here's what happens. So I'm gonna go to update the firmware and I'm gonna to go to J-E-H-E-F, J-H-E-F 411. And unfortunately, it doesn't exist. This is the problem, okay? So I don't know why JHEMCU did this, but here's what we ended up doing, is we ended up having to use the FlyWoo. So with the FlyWoo, and I really, really want them to address this. Uh, so, uh, let me see, FlyWoo, where is it? FlyWoo F411, okay? This is what I used here, load firmware. Then I'm gonna click flash firmware. So here we use the Flywoo um, F411. Okay, and the big question mark is why? Why do we have to use that? And uh, why is there nothing that we're finding on here? Now, there may be a solution I'm not seeing, but what my point was is to just come down to the menu here and see if I can find anything on JHE MCU's uh, support for this. And there's nothing. I mean, I don't understand what happened. Um, and the problem then is we had to kind of play around here to find out which one would give us all the resources because we lost our accelerometer with one of them. I mean, it was just a mess. So this is what I ended up doing is using the Flywoo. Um, and I don't know and what I would like to check now, uh, but I'll probably make that for a different, let me make that for a different video because this is gonna be very specific on here. All right, so it says it's flashed. Let's go ahead and click connect. We're gonna apply the custom defaults. And we're gonna click connect. And again, we need to uh, calibrate. Okay, and if you go down now to your CLI and you type version, you have your Flywoo board listed, but every feature on here works, okay? So that's what we use for now until something, until I get noticed that it's changed, that's what we're gonna have to use. All right, let me take this one off, okay? All right, so we'll put that one aside with this. And then now let's go to the, uh, I don't know, let's check this one out. Oh, you know what? I have this one already open. I'm not going to open a second one. So this is the, um, this is the same one, right? I want to make sure I'm on the right track here. Yep. Yeah. Nope. No, nope. it's close. Where am I at with this? What is this one? I'm pretty sure this, oh, no, sorry. This is different. So. I thought I had it somewhere here, but I guess not. All right, so I'll go ahead and open this one up. This is gonna be, oh. This is the uh, GHF420AIO with 20 amp ESC. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in and see what we get. Click connect. I'm gonna go down to our CLI and type version. Okay, so they're allowing us to use the beta flight. Let's, so let's go here. So let's do this, disconnect. We're gonna update. Let's go to our beta flight F4. Okay, load firmware, flash firmware. And then we'll run this one and see if this one goes okay. All right, while that's running, you know, I may make a note F4 with this one. I'm curious to see. 
I'm gonna pull back on this one now, the one we just did, and I'm gonna see if I load that, what happens if I just use the beta flight F4. I mean, I've had success with the, uh, on the ones that we've built recently for the, um, the revelations, we've used the flywheel, but now I'm curious to see. So let's do a uh, connect here, apply defaults. Okay, and we're gonna connect again. And we're gonna have our same, uh, we have no motor protocol, which is what we dealt with before. So that seems to be the standard here. So we could just go ahead and put, uh, let's see, it's defaulting again this way. So let's just go ahead and put 600 again. Save and reboot. And when we connect, we have no errors. Everything seems to be uh, present here as well. So for right now, we're gonna leave that as uh, using the Betaflight F4 firmware. So let me go ahead and put this away. Now I'm gonna revisit the, first, the second one that we did because I wanna see if using that we have the same result as the flywheel i just went and selected the flywheel because it happened to work perfectly with it but i'm curious now so let's just see so update firmware and i'm going to use that one load it flash firmware And we'll see how this goes as well. So I'll put a, I'll put a uh, question mark here. Or a note that we're gonna test that one. So let me put beta flight F4. And then we'll see here in just a second. And what we're gonna do is we will make the assumption here that if the GHF 420 a uh, 20 amp the 30 amp will use the same so we're going to put the beta flight f4 on that one it's the same oh no that's the 420 sorry this is the 411 hmm i don't know it'll be interesting to see let's see okay so it's not working that actually doesn't work so this is out so it's going to have to be because that's not the 411 and i didn't even think about that so let's go ahead and just do go put our firmware back and we're going to go back to flywheel on this one uh, because I don't think now beta now that's beta FPV beta flight. What do they have for me? Other options? Uh, nothing. So we'll go back to what works here, which is going to be the flywheel. So let's go ahead and do that. Load firmware, and then flash the firmware. Okay, so this is definitely going to be the only option right now that I know that's going to work for us. So let me do that, and then I assume then that this one would be the same. So we're gonna check that out. I'm curious, does Flywoo have? See, they have the F7, the F7 Dual. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to see. Hmm. All right. Let's just let this flash and make sure that works. All right. So here we go, we'll connect, apply defaults again, connect, close, calibrate, calibrate, there we go, here, okay, save and reboot, and that's it. All right, so we're gonna stick with this one, which will be the Flywoo F411. Again, I've flown that one and it has been tested, so I'm gonna stick with this one for now, so there's that. All right, so now let's go to the uh, F411. This is the non-pro, uh, version and I, I would suspect here let's see what they have on this one if this one gives us the same error when we try to do a version check okay so let's go to connect let's go to CLI type version so now here they're using a Matek F411 all right, so the Maytech F411. Hmm. So again, the question would come, would that work? Uh, so let's disconnect. Let's update the firmware. So we'll go to Maytech F411. I have, I'm curious if the other one would work, but uh, for right now, just to get this done, Maytech F411, let's load the defaults and let's flash it.
and I will post all this information, guys. Uh, so if you're waiting for me to get to a board here, I've got the, uh, let me see, I've got the Play F4, I've got the F7 XSD, this is a 20 by 20, and I've got the GHF 411 AIO, which is the 20 amp, which is going to be the same. This is not the Pro, so the GHF 411 is this one here. So the 30 amp and the 20 amp will be the same, so we'll put that for both. Let's connect here. Apply custom defaults. Okay, let's connect again. Okay, accelerometer, calibrate it. Okay, V-Shot 600 selected. Uh, we'll drop that to 300, I guess. All right, anyways, so that's fine. So we can use that one. So we'll disconnect. This one loaded fine. Um, let's put that one back in here. And so that's going to be the same for the 30 amp and the 20 amp. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those two together. All right, so those are done. Now, let's go to the, uh, let's see what else do we want to do. We'll do the uh, F7 Bluetooth here. Oh. Okay, let's connect. Let's go to versions. Whoa, what happened? Why is this happening? I'll try it one more time. Okay. So it's using the same one, the F7 dual. So J, so we're going to use the J H E F7 dual. Okay. So let's go ahead and update firmware. All right, then we're gonna have, I think only a couple left actually, because these are all done. And that'll be it. I think that pretty much would cover, uh, yeah, because the F, because actually this one is the F, uh, GHF 411 Pro 25 amp, which would be the same as the Pro 35 amp, so those two will go together. So that'll cover that. So really, we've only got a couple left here, okay? Let's go ahead now and wait for it to, there we go, we'll click Connect, Apply Custom Defaults, I'll connect again, and there's no motor protocol in the accelerometer, so let's just go to calibrate. And then we'll go to configuration, select our protocol. Okay, and connect. Do our versions, make sure everything looks good. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we'll disconnect that one. So that's good to go. This one away. All right, there you go. All right, so now we have the F, the play F4. Uh -oh, let me get this open here. All right, let's connect. CLI. Okay, and it says here we're running the Knox 
Uh, all right, so let's go to Knox. Uh, update firmware. Knox. Load firmware. Flash firmware. All right, there we go, we'll connect by the custom defaults. Connect again, and we have our accelerometer, so let's go ahead and calibrate that. Okay. All right, that should be pretty much good. We'll take care of that for right now. Let's get rid of this one, put this away. And then our last one, this is our F7 XSD. I believe this is the one, is that it? I'm not sure, actually I'll have to check. That's their five, that's their six S version. Let's go connect. Let's go to CLI. Let's go to our version. Okay, that runs the JHEMCU F7 dual, so JHEF7 dual. Okay. Uh, and then let me disconnect here. I want to log back in just to see something real quick. Yeah, I mean, this is, okay. So I was curious about this and I'm still curious about it now. Um, so let's disconnect. Well, hopefully this will take care of it, but we'll see. Let's go JHMCU. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm waiting here. Don't feel like waiting too long, so let's go ahead and let's connect, apply our defaults, see if it's gonna reboot on its own. There it goes, connect. Okay, we have the motor output and the accelerometer. Let's go to configuration here, and we will give it a uh, 600. Save. Now let's go to ports. Uh, now we got our ports back. Okay, so <laughs> there's something weird with the initial firmware that's on there. Not sure what that was, but we got our ports back at least. Okay, so there we go. So on this one, that'll work. And that's going to take care of the boards that we have, right? And so what I'll do is I'll post this. Let me just put this back in the bag real quick. Get it open, gosh darn it. Nope. All right, so that pretty much does it, guys. Um, 
Let me get rid of this. All right, so we went through a handful of these boards now, and I'm going to post the information for you guys, okay, so you can see it. Uh, so I'll put all these uh, and this one as well. All right. Um, I don't. I, I did put an email out to uh, to get in touch with JTMCU about this. Uh, oh yeah, we have the play F4 as well. Uh, not sure why. Uh, you know, like for example, I don't know if they recommended the Flywoo F4 um, uh, uh, firmware for their board, uh, but it works and it works well. So they may they may come back and say, oh well, we used Maytech or whatever. Whatever the case may be, uh, I'm going to post these. So under the video, uh, you'll see obviously you'll see the descriptions. Uh, or the timing of, of where these are at. All right, if you have any questions, please, as always, uh, head over to our Facebook page where our groups are at, and you can uh, contact us there, you know, just uh, join others in chatting about things and asking questions. Please follow us on Facebook, and most important, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated with that, and uh, that's all I ask, okay? Um, uh, all right, other than that, have fun, be safe, spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly later, guys. God bless, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh,